Yes, I'm Paul, Internal Revenue Service. How can I help you? Um, yes, I've, I'm, I'm calling you back. I think I've got a problem with my taxes. I'm sorry? Uh, my taxes? I think I've got a problem. Hello? Hey, hello, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, who I'm speaking with? Your first name and last name? Uh, yes, my name is Michael and uh, my surname is Roland. And what's your intention right now? Well, I, I need to get my tax sorted. So that's, that's what the message said anyway. Okay, like, can you have a, uh, do you have a pen and a paper handy with you? A pe uh, yes, yes, I have a pen and a paper. Okay. Write it down, first of all, my name, my first name is Edward and last name is John. Edward John, okay. Yeah. And write it down your, write it down your case ID number. Your yeah. case ID number is DC, D as in dog, C as in cat, 9483. 9483. Okay. Okay, see, now listen carefully, see. We call it to ascertain your attorney information that there is legal allegations and lawsuit has been filed against your name by the Internal Revenue Service. So, are you aware about our situations or not? Um, no, I've, I've only just heard about this. Okay, I will just go ahead and read all the legal charges against your name. So, while I'm speaking, to not interrupt me. I will give you enough time to speak after I am done, okay? Okay. Okay, now, see, as far as documents, the IRS conducted an audit on your tax file for the year on 2011 to 2016, which means 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015 to 2016. And we found out, the Internal Revenue found out that there was a numerical miscalculation on your tax that your file does not match the tax records that we have. So, according to section 7201, that amount is still outstanding on your name, which you have not paid. And for the reason, the local authorities will arrest, warrants will come to your place, like your driving license will be suspended, each and everything onto your name, like your property, your paying accounts will be frozen, and you are going to face federal imprisonment up to five years. Now, the total amount outstanding on your name is $4,845, which includes in your pension tax, legal charges, and lab fees. Now, may I ask you, like, did you do this intentionally or was it by mistake? Uh, could you just repeat the amount? I'm just trying to write it down. I'm sorry? Uh, the amount of money that I owe? That you, which you owe... Which you owe the internal revenue that right now you owe the internal revenue service. So the which amount to you owe the, which amount to you owe the internal revenue service is four thousand eight hundred forty five dollar, which includes in your pension tax, legal charges and lab fees. Now, did you do this intentionally or was it by mistake? Uh well I I, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't even know that I did it. Um Oh dear. Uh, so, so can, can okay, I like on. Okay, like on 2011 to, uh, 2011 to 2016, on those six years, who was your tax payer? Like, did you hire somebody to file your tax or did you file by yourself? How did uh, you file your tax on those six years? Well, yeah, it, it was, um, oh god, what was his name? Ken Rosenberg. That's, that's the accountant I was using at the time. I'm sorry? Uh, the accountant's name was Ken Rosenberg. He, he was sorting uh -huh. out my tax back then. Okay. And uh, right now, I believe you file your taxes each and every year, right? Well, I thought I did. I thought I did it every year. Okay. Okay, like, see, uh, right now I can see in my system, you pay your taxes each and every year. And the IRS are not saying that, the IRS right now, the IRS are not blaming you that you didn't file your tax or you didn't pay your taxes, alright? 
The IRS know that you pay your taxes each and every year, but on the 11 to 2016, on those six years, you file your taxes was incorrect. You file your taxes each and every year, but you didn't pay your full amount. For that reason only, right now the IRS are filing a lawsuit against your name. So, Mr. My, like right now, unfortunately, I'm afraid to say that right now the arrest warrant has already issued under your name. But why we called you because you are a law-abiding citizen and you are an honest man and you pay your taxes each and every year, but you didn't pay your full amount. All right, that's why. Before we legal actions under your name, the IRS, the IRS decided to give you a call to make you aware about this situation. So right now, Mr. Michael, like, do you have a criminal attorney who can represent in your courthouse? No, no, I don't have any criminal attorney. Um, oh dear. Um, okay, Mr. Michael, see, yeah, no problem, all right? If you don't have a criminal attorney with you, then no issue. So, like, if you don't have a criminal attorney with you, then, like, in front of you, we have two options for you. So, this line has been federally recorded, all right? Your call has been federally recorded and monitored by our IRS officer. So, make sure whatever you say or comments must be honest. So, the first option, you have to listen. We have two options for you in front of you. So, you need to listen carefully and you need to answer to me. The first option is either you can hire a criminal attorney and come up to the Washington DC and file a case with IRS inside a courthouse or and the second option is if the IRS give you a chance to resolve this case if the IRS give you a chance to resolve this case in order to cancel your arrest warrant can you able to be uh, can you able to resolve this case in order to cancel your arrest warrant um what what do you mean do you do you want me to pay money or or, or, or let can me I go uh, to see, Washington. Let me, Mr. My, uh, Michael. Let me, uh, me uh, let me explain to you. See, if you choose the first option, then why? If you choose the first option, then what you need to do is, first of all, once you or me disconnect this line within 45 minutes, your local police, you may receive from your local police site, all right? And your local police, wherever you are, your local police will be come take you and they're going to take you in custody for an investigation. At that time, you need a criminal attorney who can represent in your courthouse. Like your criminal attorney will cost you like $25,000 or $35,000. It will cost you. And you need to come up to Washington, D.C. and you have to fight this case with Internal Revenue Service out inside a courthouse. And in case, if you fight this case and if you win this case, then yeah, obviously that will be good for you. But if you, win, uh, if you lose this case, then... The IRS are going to sue you like sixty-five or seventy-five thousand dollars. They are going to sue you, and uh, and as I already told you, like your travel license, your property, each and everything under your name are going to be seized, and you are going to face an imprisonment up to five years. And the and and the second option is if you choose the second option, then by resolving this case, all right, in order to cancel your arrest warrant, we are going to help you out from this case. So right now, like, do you, what's your intention? Like, do you want to resolve this case or? Do you want to fight this case or do you want to resolve this case outside of the courthouse? What's your intention? Well, well Washington is too far away. Can can I um can can I get it sorted locally? So like if you can't able to come up to Washington DC then if the IRS give you a chance to resolve this case in order to cancel your arrest warrant, can you able to resolve this case? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to get this resolved and make a payment or whatever it is. Okay, sir, see, let me, uh, let me tell you one thing. See, if you want to resolve this case outside of the courthouse, then as, let me tell you, this line has been federally recorded, and we are recording this line. And why we are recording this line? Because the courthouse need, the, the courthouse need the evidence, and they need a single recorded line, all right? So... We are not authorized to ask over this recorded line. We are not authorized to ask you the personal information or the phone call, or we are not authorized to provide, provide you the personal information or the phone call. But one thing what I'm going to ask you, like, if you want to resolve this case, then, like, how much amount you can able to come up to internal revenue service in order to cancel your arrest warrants? Um, uh, I, reckon, I reckon I can pay $4,000 now. Because um, I think that's all Four thousand dollar, right? Yeah. Okay. You can pay this to the internal revenue service. It's four thousand dollar, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And it's uh, and like 
$845, we will put you on monthly payments for you, all right? Okay. Okay. So, like, if you want to pay this $4,000, then right now, like, uh, you need to go by yourself, all right? You need to physically buy yourself, and you need to pay this amount to internal revenue service. So, I will guide you, all right? Where you need to go, what you have to do, I will guide you step by step. But let me ask you, like, you need to pay this uh, electronic federal tax payment system, which means e EFTPS, which means electronic federal tax payment system. So, like, is there any government certified location nearby you? Is there, like, Walgreens, Target Store? Is uh, there any store nearby you? No, well, well, I don't know if it's government certified, but there is a Walmart down, down uh, a uh, little drive away. I'm sorry, sir. A, a Walmart? There's a Walmart. No, sir, not Walmart. It's a Target, CVS. Wild Green, is there any store nearby you? Um, well, there's a, a, dollar, a, dollar, gen, a dollar General. General, okay. Yeah. It's a Donor General nearby you, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, let me explain to you. So, uh, let me tell you, you need to go to, a, you need to drive your car to a Dollar General, alright? And, uh, while you are driving your car, let me explain to you. While you are driving your car, you don't need to disconnect this line. As I was told to you, this line has been federally recorded, so we need a single recorded line. So while you are driving, all right, you don't need to disconnect this line. Just put me on speakerphone. And while you are driving, you don't need to talk with me. You just save your drive. And once you reach the working, uh, Dollar General store, then let me know, all right? So like okay. you need to dress up or you need to, uh, right now you can go to internal general. You need to dress up or you can go to internal uh, Yeah, well I'm just getting out the door now and and getting in my car. So right now, like once you reach, uh, once you stay in your car, all right. Once you you are in staying in your car, inside your car, let me know, all right. I will guide you what you need to do, all right. Uh, well, I, I I'm I'm getting in the car now. So like. How much time it will take for you to be reach in Donor General? Uh, I would say about quarter of an hour. Like it, uh, like it will take like <coughs> see, uh, half an hour. No. Half an uh, hour. We are not going to minutes. help out from this case because you have only 35 or 45 minutes. So as much you can, you have to do it fast in order to cancel uh, your arrest yeah. warrant. All right, your cases, uh, your arrest warrant has been uh, on. I'm still holding your arrest warrants right now, and once you or me disconnect this line, even though I have to go to my legal procedure and I have to issue the arrest warrants under your name, so right now I'm holding your arrest warrants. So right now, like, how much time it will take for you to be rich in Dollar General store? Yeah, it's about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Okay, just uh, no problem. If it will take 15, then no problem. So. Right now, do you have a credit card, a debit card? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I have a credit card and a debit card. Just see, we are not authorized to ask you the personal information or a phone call, alright? So you don't need to worry because we are recording this line. So if, just take your travel license, your tra uh, your credit card, your debit card, each and everything, alright? And once you once you reach in your car, then let me know, alright? Okay, I'm, I'm just driving now. Are you driving? Yeah, I'm driving. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying this little radio here. If you are, make sure to remember to do that thing with the old, um, the old thumbs there, down there. Can I see it? Yeah, just over there. Lovely. If you could just, uh, you know, you could do one thing, make it click. Also, there's that little uh, subscribe and mobile buttons there. Make sure you click on that, and uh, you'll get notified for all kind of new videos and stuff. So, um, hope you enjoy that. Let's get back into the uh, into the baiting here. Thank very much. Hello, are you still there? Hello? Yeah.
Yeah, hello, I'm still here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just parking up now. Okay, once you park your car, just let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, I've parked up. Okay, did you park the car? Yeah. Okay, so you just switch off the loudspeaker, okay? Switch off the loudspeaker. Um, hold on. You done? Yeah. Okay, so what the thing right now is, okay? Let me explain you first, listen to me very carefully, okay? Okay. Yeah, right now what you need to do, you need to get inside the store, okay? And you need to look, okay? You need to look for the electronic voucher, okay? Once you purchase that voucher, you need to load the amount on those voucher. Once you load that amount, you will get a receipt from the certified store. So make sure that do not forget to take that receipt because the voucher is not very important, but the receipt is very important. So you need to keep it safely with you, those receipt, okay? And after that, I will be fixing an appointment for you to one of your local IRS officer. He will be come down at your mailing address. He will be provide you your legal paper and the documentation. And he will be explaining you to everything what is this about or the miscalculation at the time. And you need to sign over those letter and the documentation. You need to submit those voucher and the receipt to the officer. And the officer will take that voucher. He will be swiped that voucher in front of you with a swiping machine. And the payment will be accepted at your doorstep at the time only. But this is the verification process which you are going to verify the amount with the help of an electronic voucher. So what you need to do right now is, okay, I'm still on the line with you. Just get inside the Dollar General, okay? And you need to go to the gift card section. Once you're in front of the gift card section, just say hello to me once. So, so that I will update you, or I will let you know what electronic voucher you need to pick from there, okay? Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm staying on the line with you. Just keep your phone in your pocket, get inside the store. Once you're in front of the gift card section, just say hello to me once. I'm staying on the line, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, yeah, I'm at the electronic section now. I'm sorry? The electronic section. Who told you to go to the electronic section? You did, you said I had to get an electronic I told you voucher. To, I told you to go to the gift card section, once we're in front of the gift card section. Oh, the Just gift let cards. me know that's something. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah. over, they're over there, hold on. I'm sorry? I, I'm, I'm just walking over there. Okay, okay. I'm still on the line. Once you're in front, just let me know, okay? I will let you know, okay? What well, you uh, here I am. I'm, I'm, at, I'm with the gift cards. I've got Amazon. Okay. So right now... Uh, okay. <laughs> Steam. PlayStation Network. I'm sorry? Okay. Uh, hold on, they're just moving a trolley but around. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, yeah, they got gift cards here. A gift card section. I told you a gift yeah. card section, not the electronic section. Well, no, no, okay. I'm, I'm at the gift cards now. They got Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards. Okay. I'm sorry? They got iTunes gift cards, they got all kinds of different gift cards. Who told you to take iTunes? No one, I'm just Who reading around. You? I'm no one told. I'm just uh, saying all the different gift cards they got here. I don't know which one to get. Okay. So what you need to do right now, okay? You need to look for the Google Play gift card. So you just look for the Google Play gift card once, okay? Once you got it, just look for the limit and just let me know, okay? A Google Play card, right? Okay. Yeah, a Google Play gift card. Yes. Gift card. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they got they got Google Google Play gift card okay. things here. So you just look over there. What is the limit of the card? Uh, well, there's one for fifty dollars, um, hundred, hundred and fifty. Oh, there's one going up to five hundred dollars as well. 
Okay, the mini uh, the maximum should be the 500, right over there. Yeah, there's a 500. Okay, so you just do one thing, okay? You just mm -hmm. pick, okay? You just pick four cards, That's okay? Because there will be a limit, because there will be a limit in the store, okay? Inside the store, so they won't allow you to take eight cards, okay? For four thousand dollars, they won't allow you to take eight cards. So you just pick four cards from there, okay? Four cards, four one each cards. for five hundred dollars, okay? okay? For two thousand, right? One each for yep. five hundred dollars for four cards. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. Just take four cards. Go to the cashier. Tell them you need to load this amount in this gift card. Okay. They will help you. They will load it for you. They might be asking you what is this purpose for. Just tell them it's for your personal use or gifting purpose. So it will be a free cost for every customer. Okay. Okay. So right. what you need to do is once you load that amount on those gift cards. You need to load this amount in this gift card. They will load it for you. They will help you. Once you load that amount, you will get a receipt from the cashier. Don't forget to take that receipt because the receipt is very important. The federal government, they are looking for the receipt. So once you load that amount, just take the receipt, come outside of the store, just sit inside the car, and just say hello to me so that at that time, I will be working at a paper box. Okay, I'm trying to generate to cancel the rest. Won't. At that time, I'm going to go into forward this record into the federal courthouse. Okay? Okay. Alright. Yeah. So just yeah. keep your phone in your pocket. Okay, make sure don't put me in a mute, don't put me in a hold. Okay. Once you're done, just come up store, just sit inside a car, hello to me, okay? I'm staying on the line. Uh, yeah, okay? I'm, just, I'm just in the queue yeah. now. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm staying on the line, thank you. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Uh, um... Yeah, hello. Could I have uh, these four gift cards, please? Sure, Lisa. Yeah, there's uh, oh, uh, $2,000. How are you going to pay for that? Um, I want to just stick it on my card, please. Okay, sir, hold on. Okay, if you could just put your card in there and enter your pin. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, sir. Hold on, I'll just print your receipt. Oh, yeah, I, I need that receipt, don't I? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Thanks, you too. Bye. Hello? I'm out in the parking lot now. Okay, so you're in the park there? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the parking lot. Okay, so I believe you got a car, right? How much car did you got? Uh, I got four cards and uh, they're five hundred dollars each. Okay. Yeah, and I so, got this receipt. So, uh, what I think right now well. is okay. You just up, you just pick one card, okay? One card in your hand, okay? You just open the wrapper, okay? Okay. Open the wrapper and just look for the back side of the card. There will be a barcode over there, okay? A scratchable panel, okay? You just scratch it properly. Yeah. Make sure that don't lose the numbers from there. Once you scratch it, just let me know. I'm staying on the line with you, okay? okay. Okay, I'm just gonna scratch it. Yeah, just scratch it. Once it's done, let me know. Thank you. <sighs> okay, okay, I've scratched the first one. Okay, did you scratch one card? Uh, yeah, one card. Okay, I believe like uh, there will be a uh, phone miracle numbers over there, right? Uh, yeah, there's some numbers here. Okay, can you please verify me the numbers one by one, okay? Um, yeah, it's uh, the number four, the number one, uh -huh. number nine. Mm -hmm. Hello? Can you hear me? Did you get Hello? That? Hello? Yeah, can you please, yeah, repeat the numbers. Uh, uh, yeah, well, it's uh, the number four, the number one, the number... N Your voice is breaking up, man. Your voice is breaking up, sir.
What happened can, to your cell can phone? Can you hear me? Hello? Is there, any, is there any problem in your cell phone? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I've had... Yeah, yeah, hello, uh, can you hear me now? Uh, can you uh, hear me I, now? I, I can't quite make it out. Okay, there are okay. five of the numbers, sir. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the number four, the number one, the number uh -huh. nine. Uh huh. Uh huh. After that. Hello? 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 Sir, after number nine, what is the number? You want to break it up. Are you trying to waste your time? Uh, okay, C could you call the number back to me? I got only three numbers. Uh, and after that, your voice has been breakage. I can't hear you. Yeah, what do you, you think? Uh, well, I, I, I read you the numbers twice now. It's number 419, and after that, you didn't say anything. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 4197. And after that? Three, two, uh huh, uh huh. Your voice is breaking up, sir. I can hear you. Hello, your voice is yeah. breaking up. What happened to your cell phone, sir? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Oh, I'm not sure if you can hear me now. It's Hello? It's four one nine seven three two, and after that? Uh, yeah, it's uh four one nine seven. Three. Are you trying to waste our time, sir? Okay, call it back. Call it back. I got only six digit number, sir. Well, no, no, I haven't been. I've been reading out a lot more digits than that. No. Well, here it goes again. It's a uh, four, one, nine, seven, three. <laughs> I believe right now you're trying to waste your time. You are trying to waste your time, sir. Hello. You still there? You are trying to wasting. You are trying to wasting my I'm, time. I'm not. Wait. I'm not trying to waste your time at all. I'm no, trying no. to call you these numbers. No, you just putting out the numbers, but there will be a breakage over there on the cell phone. What happened on your cell phone, sir? What? No. Yeah. Hello? There's a lot of breakage in your cell phone. I can hear you properly. Oh, you, you can hear me now. Okay, this is so uh, call back the number, okay. call it back. Just read it down speed. Just read it down speed. You don't need to be slowed down, okay? Just read it down. Just okay. read it down. Yeah, it's I, four, I one, will. Nine, it, yeah, it's four, one, <laughs> nine, seven. <laughs> okay, call it back, call it back. I got on the six digit number. After that, your whistle's been breakage. I can hear you what you are saying. What? Hold for a second, okay? Eight. I'm calling you. I'm Seven. giving you a call in my direct line number. Hold for a second. Uh, okay, you, you call me back. Stay on the line with me. Do not disconnect the call. I, I, okay? won't, I won't disconnect the call. Stay on the line with me. I'm giving you a call in my direct line number. Just answer that call, okay? Okay. Yeah, stay on the line with me. Hello? 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 Okay, I got it. Uh, can, can you hear Hello? me? Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Uh, um, Hello? Uh, um, what happened?
happened to your what happened to your cell phone? Hello? Uh, Just switch off the loudspeaker, just switch off the loudspeaker. What happened to your cell phone? I can hear you properly. Hello? Or else, if you're trying to wasting my time, yes. Or else, uh, if you're trying uh, to waste my time, I'm not wasting your call, time. I'm here. trying to call the... You just come outside of the car, okay? Just come outside of the car. Uh, uh, okay. Y your what? Just, yeah, just just stand, just come outside of your car. Okay, just stand behind I'm, I'm, your car and just let me know. I, I'm I'm not in the car. Yeah. I'm in the parking lot. Okay. Hello. Hello. Sir, what Hello. happened to your cell phone? Your voice is breaking up, sir. Hello? I can't hear your voice. Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, you can hear me now, right? So, so I can call the numbers. Okay, just verify yeah. the numbers. Just call the numbers. Uh, yeah, okay. It's uh, 41973. <laughs> After 32, after 32, what is that? After 32, what is that? Uh, 32? No, there's, there's no 32 in there. It's um, 41973. Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah, let me tell you one thing, okay? Let me tell you one thing, okay? One thing. Yes, if you are trying to wasting my time, just hang up the call, okay? I'm sending the local cops at the Dollar General, okay? You just wait over there. I'm sending the local cops, okay? Right you're now, sending... I believe you're trying to wasting my time. I I'm not wasting your time at all. Why, why would I do such a thing? You're just trying to waste my time, and you are just trying to waste my time intentionally. No, I'm not. You're wasting my time. You're trying to get money out of me. No. Yes. I'm not trying to do that. I'm yes, you are, Sunshine. Money. You're trying okay. to scam people, aren't you? Okay, you just do one thing. Okay, you just take that card in your hand, just open the wrapper, okay, and just swipe in your ass. Okay, just swipe in your ass, you motherfucker. Oh, sorry, get there, pass land be here. There, pass land be here. तेरे पास लैंड भी है तेरी मागी तू भोसड़ी वाले निकल सर तेरे पास लैंड भी है भोसड़ी तेरी मागी <laughs> कहां से बोल रहे थे कहां से बोल रहे थे बेंकलोरी यू बेंकलोरी यू टेरी मैकिट्यूट वेयर आई एम कॉलिंग फ्रॉम वेयर यू आर कॉलिंग यू फ्रॉम वेयर आर कॉलिंग फ्रॉम आई एम कॉलिंग फ्रॉम गुजरात आई एम सॉरी गुजरात कहाँ से बोल रहा है कहाँ से बोल रहा है गुजरात से कहाँ से बोल रहा है अहमदाबाद यू ब्रेकिंग अप कहाँ से बोल रहा है अहमदाबाद से असद और वेर आर यू कॉल्ड फ्रॉम गुजरात वेर आर यू राइट नाउ आई मीन गुजरात आर यू राइट नाउ ये कोर्स आई एम व्हाट यू वेल व्हाट यू वेल नाम I'm not going to tell you my real name. You what? tell me your real name. Uh, what's your What's your real name? Behind you, Randy, you bitch. Your father got Randy, you bitch. Bowl, bowl, bowl. Behind you, Randy, what will he do? Will he do it? Will he do it? Can he do it? You. Can he do it? 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 क्या जुबान नहीं है जुबान नहीं है बहन के लड़े बोलम तेरी स्टाइल को तो तू बहन के लड़े कड़े बहन के रोड़ा 
ਆ ਗਿਆ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਦਿਮਾਗ ਖਰਾਬ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਤੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਦੂ ਬੋਲ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਡੰਡੀ ਕੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੋਲ ਬੋਲ ਨਾ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਮਾਲੂਮ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਚੁਸਤਾ ਨਾ ਉਸਕਾ ਨਾਮ ਬਤਾ ਨਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਕੋ ਚੋਦ ਕੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਸੈਲਰੀ ਦੇ ਤਾ ਬਤਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਕੌਣ ਮਾਰੇਗਾ ਤੂੰ ਤੇਰਾ ਬਾਪ ਵੀ ਆ ਜਾ ਤਬ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਤਾ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਅਜੇ ਦੇਖਾ ਬੈਂਕ ਕੀ ਲੋਰੇ ਸੁਣ 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 ਕੀ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਤੇਰਾ ਬਾਪ ਸੇ ਖੇਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਪਿਚ ਮਾਰਨ ਆਤੀ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਬੋਲ ਬੋਲ ਕਾਹ ਤੋਂ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਅਰੇ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਦੇ ਕਾਹ ਤੋਂ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਬੋਲ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਸਿਖਾਉ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਲੈ ਲੈ ਕੋਚਿੰਗ ਕਲਾਸਿਸ ਲੈ ਲੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਸੇ ਭੈਣ ਕੇ ਲੋੜੇ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਮੇ ਦੇ ਦੂੰਗਾ ਭੈਣ ਛੋੜ ਦੇਣਾ ਇਸ ਰਾਤ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਆਪਣੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਸਿਖਾ ਦੂੰਗਾ ਬਾਪੂ ਇਸ ਫੀਲਡ ਕਾ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ 8 ਸਾਲ ਤੇ ਗਾਣ ਮਰਾ ਰਹਾ ਹੂੰ ਇਸ ਫੀਲਡ ਮੇ ਅਭੀ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਦੋ ਵਾਰ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਤਿੰਨ ਵਾਰ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ 100 ਵਾਰ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਲੇਗਾ ਤੂੰ ਤੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਨਾ ਛੋਦਰ ਕੀ ਮੈਨੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤੇਰ ਮਾਂ ਕਾ ਚੋ ਤੇਰ ਮਾਂ ਕਾ ਚੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਨਾ ਟਿਟਰ ਮੇ ਭੇਜ ਦਤਾ ਹੂੰ ਲਿਖ ਕੇ ਫਾਲੋ ਕਰ ਲਿਓ ਭੈਣ ਕੋ ਨਾ ਸੇ ਲਾਈ ਨਾ ਨਾਮ ਬਦਲ ਕੇ ਰੱਖ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਲਿਖ ਕੇ ਭੇਜ ਦੋ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਬਾਪ ਬਤਾ ਦੇਗਾ ਇਸ ਫੀਲਡ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡਸ ਮੇ ਐਡਮ ਇਸਕਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਮਾਂ ਕਾ ਲੋੜਾ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਤੋ ਤੇਰ ਬਾਪ ਕਾ ਪਤਾ ਤੇਰ ਬਹਿਨ ਕਾ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਨੇ ਸੇ ਭੇਜੋ ਤੇਰ ਬਹਿਨ ਕੋ ਛੁੱਟ ਡਾਲੇਗਾ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਮਾਂ ਬਹਿਨ ਸਭ ਕਾ ਛੁੱਟ ਡਾਲੇਗਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਖੋਲ ਰੱਖਾ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਕੋ ਚੋਦੂ ਮਾਂ ਕਾ ਲੋੜਾ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਤੋ ਕੜੇ ਬਣ ਰਾ ਤੇਰਾ ਮੋਰ ਬਣਾਉ ਮੈਂ ਭੈਣ ਕੀ ਲੋੜਾ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਤੋ ਚਲ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਬਗ ਜਾ ਕੁੱਤਾ ਵੇ ਨਿਕਲ ਲੋੜਾ ਰੰਡੀ ਦਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਤੂੰ ਬੈਗ ਦਾ ਮਾਦਰ ਫਾਕਰ ਆਸੋ ਅਬੇ ਗਾਲੀ ਨਿਕਾਲਣਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਲੈ ਭੈਣ ਕੀ ਚੂਥਾਰੀ ਤੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਕੋ ਚੋਦੂ ਮਾਂ ਕਾ ਲੋੜਾ ਰੰਡੀ ਦਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਦੀ ਫੁੱਦੀ ਮਾਰਾ ਮਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੂਸਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਦਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਨੂੰ ਲੰਨਦਾ ਮਾਂ ਦਾ ਲੰਨਣਾ ਘੋੜੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਵੀ ਫੁੱਦੀ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਅੜ ਫੁੱਦੀ ਗਾਲੀ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਤੋ ਬੋਂਗ ਅਬ ਕੁੱਤੇ ਬੋਂਗ ਨਾ ਬੋਂਗ ਪਿਚ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਆਤੀ ਹੈ ਸਿਖਾ ਦੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਿਲ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਿਲ ਮੇਰੇ ਦੀ ਸਿਖਾਉ ਬੋਕ ਗਲੀ ਕੇ ਕੁੱਤਾ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਬੋਕਤਾ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਬਾਰ ਸੁਣਾ ਥਾ ਬੋਕੋ ਬੋਕੋ ਔਰ ਬੋਕੋ ਤੂੰ ਹੈ ਕਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਤੂੰ ਬਤਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਤੂੰ ਕਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਬੋਕੋ ਕਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਕਹਾਂ ਪੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਬਤਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਔਰ ਬੋਕੋ ਔਰ ਬੋਸਰੀ ਕਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਮੁੰਬਈ ਸੇ ਹੈ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਸੇ ਹੈ ਬੰਗਲੌਰ ਸੇ ਕਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਹੈ ਬਤਾ ਤੇਰਾ ਬਾਪ ਕਾ ਲੰਨ ਸੇ ਹਾ ਬੇ ਜਾ ਦੇਖ ਤੇਰੀ ਬਹਿਣ ਕਾ ਚੁਦਰੀ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਉਹ ਦੇਖ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਛੋੜ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਬਹਿਣ ਦੇ ਕਾਂ ਚੁਦਰੀ ਹੈ ਦੇਖ ਨਾ ਦੇਖ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੇਰੀ ਬਹਿਣ ਕਾ ਚੁਦਰੀ ਹੈ ਬਹਿਣ ਦੇ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਬਹਿਣ ਦੀ ਸੋਚ ਤੂੰ ਛੋੜ ਤੂੰ ਤੇਰਾ ਮਾ ਕਾ ਚੁਦਰਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਦੇਖੋ ਤੇਰਾ ਮਾ ਕਾ ਚੁਦਰਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਦੇਖੋ ਪੋਸਟ ਆਫਿਸ ਤੋਂ ਦਾਉ ਪੋਸਟ ਕੋਡ ਬਤਾਉ ਪੂਰਾ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਪੋਸਟ ਕੋਡ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਭੈਣ ਕੇ ਲੋੜੇ ਅਨਪੜ ਭੈਣ ਚੋ ਚਾਰ ਵਰਡ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਚ ਸਿੱਖ ਲੈ ਪਿਚ ਮਾਰਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਲੇ ਹੋਏ ਅਨਪੜ ਗਵਾਰ ਚੋ ਮਾ ਕਾ ਲੋੜਾ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਤੋ ਹੈਲੋ ਹੈਲੋ ਪੋਸੜੀ ਕੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਲੈਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਲੈਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਲੈਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਦੀ ਤੂੰ ਬੋਸੜੀ ਵਾਲੇ ਨਿਕਲ ਚੱਲ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਲੈਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਪੋਸੜੀ ਤੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੋਸੜੀ ਕੀ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਮਾਂ ਕੀ ਪੋਸੜੀ ਕੀ ਚੂਤੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਰੱਖਾ ਗਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਨਿਕਲ ਲੋੜੇ ਕਾਂ ਨੰਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਹੋਰ ਕੇ ਹੈ ਕਿਆ ਬਹਿਣੇ ਕੋ ਡੰਡੀ ਕੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਰੰਦੀ ਕੇ ਬਾਤ ਹੈ ਕਮਿਊਨੀਕੇਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਪਹਿਲੇ
कितने डॉलर मारता है कितने डॉलर मारता है बताना तो भी हैं गाड़ियाँ सुनने बैठा हैं हेलो तेरे बाप बता देगा इस शुल्ली ग्रांड्स में एडमिस का नाम है माँ का लोडा ना हो तो भंडचुत वैसी आवाज़ नहीं आ रही है भंडचुत तू किस कौन मारेगा तू तेरे बाप भी आ जाता है बिनी का सकता बहनी के लोड डंडी के बच्चे माँ दस सिखा दूंगा बाप वहीं स्वील्ड का ठीक है आठ साल से गांड मरा रहा हूँ इस स्वील्ड में बोल 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 बहन के लोड क्या करेगा कर कर क्या है क्या कर सकेगा तू बोल ना ये आवाज़ साफ़ नहीं आ रही यार भाई बोल बोल अबे अब बहन चोर दो ये आवाज़ साफ़ नहीं आ रही है हैं गाड़ियाँ सुनने बैठा हैं कितने डॉलर मारता है हेलो कितने डॉलर मारता है बताना बहुत सारी के तेरे पास लैंड भी है तेरे पास लैंड भी है तेरे पास लैंड भी है तेरी मागी तू बहुत सारी वाले निकल सर तेरे पास लैंड भी है बहुत सारी तेरी मागी तू नहीं हो ना ट्विटर में भेज देता हूँ लिख के फॉलो कर लियो भैने को ना सिलाई ना नाम बदल के रहे माँ दर्शो तेरी माँ का माँ का बहुत सारा तेरी माँ का लौड़ा तेरी माँ का सोड़ा तेरी माँ का सोड़े तेरी माँ को सोड़े सारे एजेंट